Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, this video I'm going to try to make quick um, and just demonstrate the importance of uh, having your coils resonant with each other um, so that you can pick up uh, you know, radio fields and, and um, uh, enhance uh, distance of transmission and, and so forth. So, the circuit's already running and it's oscillating back and forth 0 watts and 1.4 watts um, got that coil there that's operating off of the magnetic field if you remove the ferrite um, like a roll of ferrite beads there ferrite toroids uh, place that back in there and then that allows the coil to function off of um, the magnetic field. You can get the coil to function off of the dielectric field, uh, but it needs to be much, much closer. So already at this distance, that light is, is going out. We need to be within... Uh, a few inches for it to work off of the dielectric field however if we um, place uh, that core uh, in there then we can get a much bigger uh, transmission distance you know poss possibly double the uh, distance and different ferrite rods are going to have different effects I've got this uh, rod that is uh, the same as the rod that's in the center of the main coil there and so if we place that coil uh, halfway down that rod you can see that um, it then matches that resonant coupling um, so one thing I noticed, uh, which is what I wanted to do this video on uh, primarily, is that when you try and feed back to um, a system like this, so I'm running a, a coil, the coil that's inside there is the same coil as these. Uh, so it has the same capacitor, it's just missing the LED. And so that's being used as a pickup coil or a generator coil and comes out with the yellow and the white cable and then goes to bridge rectifier and then uh, into uh, just a little coil of wire that I'm just experimenting with into a headlight, an LED headlight for a car and uh, it has a fan on it and the fan runs as well uh, so I've got the negative of the bridge rectifier coming over to the battery and the positive of the bridge rectifier runs through this light through the um, and the fan and then uh, through the red jumper lead there and that goes on to the positive of the battery um, so that'll light up this light, not a hundred percent brightness. Um, however, uh, when you do feed back to the system in this manner, it creates a resonant field that then allows you to, as long as your transmission coil, like that one inside there, and your receiving coil like this one here are resonant you know I, I and by that I mean that they're identical um, in number of turns diameter length of wire and capacitor then it will receive that radio field uh, that is only seems to be transmitted by this system anyway uh, when you try to feed back so if we do that now, so just before we do it, I'll quickly measure the distance at which we can obtain light 
from the coil and so we're just losing light at that distance maybe about three four inches if we slide it out away from that position so that it's no longer lit and then I will connect this uh, positive feedback and we can see that when I do that the field increases quite dramatically um, so where that light at that distance without the feedback wasn't um, wasn't able to uh, produce that oscillation every now and then you can get this um, anomaly to occur where the consumption goes through the roof like up to it's now up to like 20 watts and the field just becomes massive like the fields way um, out here it's still active uh, it chews a lot of power uh, so I'm, I'm not you know, when that occurs I, I don't want it to continue that way um, so if I I can stop that process by um, you're trying to uh, position this coil uh, sorry the feedback coil and attach it to the positive so now we can see that that's the way I prefer it to run around about the 5 watt mark and it will actually charge the battery in this mode um, so it does operate the light it does operate the fan you won't be able to see but might be able to hear if I shut up so it's very dim um, as far as the light goes but interesting side effect is it seems to um, power that up charge up the battery the light gets brighter and fan spins faster so once we've done that and we now know that uh, this field has increased we take one of these ferret rods grab that same coil and now we can see that the distance from there has increased for that as well and something interesting I noticed just with the coils being close to the wire so these two coils here are slightly different um, the one on the right hand side has two extra turns same capacitor same diameter form different LED and the reason for me doing that was to try to demonstrate the importance of resonance for something like a Don Smith system or you know a lot of the systems that uh, can achieve over unity do so by transmitting power wirelessly for that to occur um, it, it's like it only likes to transfer wireless power to one of its own kind if it sees a coil of different dimensions it considers it not one of its own kind and it's not as willing to share power with it so if I place this coil here in between um, the positive and the negative line uh, that come from the battery um, you can see there's there's nothing um, abnormal there uh, whereas if I was to use this coil um, we can see that by placing it between positive and negative those battery wires it will actually light up that light so so now this coil is taking power from just being in between those two lines it does seem to need 
both lines. It does seem to need one on either side. Like if I place it either side here, it doesn't seem to light up. Um, but if I place it in between the positive and negative, like you would um, expect to have happen if you were to use a magnet on um, yeah, on a, on a generator coil, you put the north and the south magnet and it produces light. So here, this is what I think might be occurring. Uh, Edward Leedscallon talks about um, magnets running in the wires. And this might be evidence that he was actually correct on that. I can then take a ferrite rod and place that inside that coil. And again not connected to anything it just sits there and um, the ferrite rod now allows it to pick up that field uh, the magnetic field as well as the dielectric field whereas I think when it's like this it could just be the dielectric field but yeah anyway I have to uh, pack this up so I thought it would be important to record this one both for myself and anyone else who may be interested. Um, one last thing, I did notice that this, this arrangement um, does tend to have that, that field um, as long as it's on the inside, it's a bit hard for me to uh, show that with that other light going. Um, the field seems to be present on the inside of what would be considered this circular arrangement of this circuit. Um, so if I place it on the inside of this wire, the light can light up if I place it on the other side. Uh, it, it won't light up so that's some interesting uh, effects there just thought I'd point that out that um, there are different um, anomalies different effects that occur when connect connecting different parts of the um, of the circuit so uh, if we just take this light out of the equation and put in this one <coughs> excuse me uh, so this coil is the same uh, resonant coil however I've just wrapped this uh, alligator lead around it in essence completing one uh, one and a half turns almost two turns um, and so that's just done to demonstrate that um, this field can be received without increasing uh, input requirement. Um, but just having that wire wrap around uh, that coil is enough for it to supply it power. So yeah it's uh you know again everything you do will change frequency like i just dimmed it then by placing a ferrite rod in um you will get less brightness if you were to use a light that isn't resonant so this other one for example that isn't resonant if you were to perform that wrap one or two turns around that it wouldn't be as bright because this coil is a match or resonant or a copy of that coil in there alrighty so again no increase in uh, input power on the primary circuit to produce that extra light um, you know, again I can place uh, this one here and and match frequency while you're using a ferrite rod and and get power out of that one as well now again no increase in um, power draw so 
input our input output greater than whatever rubbish they tried to teach us uh, told us that smarter minds could not do this so um, you know who are we to question whether our education was wrong anyway interesting effects um, if I encourage people just to do more experimentation and, and if you find some extra features of this system uh, please don't hesitate to um, 